All right, everyone, Cody here. I am making this video because I've entered myself, some of my friends, and the school I currently attend into Mars One's University Challenge to develop a payload to go on the 2018 Mars lander. And uh, what I'm currently going for is the water extraction experiment, the experiment which we w want to uh, bring in some Mars soil and extract usable water out of it. Now, uh, that is why I've came up here to the most Mars-like location in my backyard. Uh, the soil here is fairly Mars-like. I mean, obviously I could probably find better, but uh, I didn't want to go drive somewhere. But at least you can see there is iron in the soil. That's really not going to be messing with our experiments. But, uh, you know, it's low in organics, and most importantly, it's very low in water. See, we haven't had rain in a couple of weeks. And so you can see it's very dusty, powdery, and dry. But I almost guarantee that there's water in it. See, no matter where you go, the soil will always contain water because of the materials that the soil is made out of has a tendency to lock water up and store it. See, even though this is like sit out in the sun for days on end in 100 degree weather, the salts and uh, other compounds in the soil will actually chemically bound to the water in uh, hydrates. You know, like your magnesium sulfate, your potassium carbonate, your uh, halides, like your common table salt, and even iron oxide, as it turns out, will store water. And uh, the Curiosity rover on Mars found very similar results. Uh, it found like a few percent water by weight, and uh, I think that's about what I have here. Of course, uh, the Curiosity rover also found like free water that was like not chemically bound. I may have a little bit of that here, but it's not going to be very much. And uh, that'll be so easy to extract, and it shouldn't really be any trouble for us. So what I'm proposing we do is we have a... Uh, a device. I mean, we may have to have some robotic people get on making like a little robotic arm to collect a sample. Uh, similar to what I just did there. Okay. And now we're going to want to put it somewhere and heat it up. I'm using a blowtorch. On Mars, we'll probably use an electrical heater. Let's go ahead and start that up. Okay. Hopefully that's not too loud. Go ahead and uh, warm this up gently. We're trying to warm it up to about uh, three or four hundred degrees Fahrenheit, which is enough to decompose the hydrates, but not to uh, release any sulfides. You can see it reacting to the heat and is actually releasing steam. See that? The soil is practically boiling. You can see in there. And it basically is, because you've got the water evaporating out of it. And up here where I had my hand, where it was cold, you can see the water actually condensed. And actually some of it's run down, and you can see it there. You can't really see it very well in the camera. But I've got droplets of water around the neck of this bottle and some have uh, run down. Actually here, let's see. My pinky is dry. Reach it in there. Now it's wet. Look at that. It's tasty. It's uh, a little muddy, but it's pure, drinkable H2O. Smell it. I don't think I've extracted any sulfides or anything that'd be harmful. So I think that's good. Now, uh, I'd propose uh, doing like a bulk extraction where we heat it up and collect the water somewhere and then like do a secondary distillation to purify it you know get rid of this mud I mean you know we may be able to heat it up slowly and so it doesn't uh, boil and throw the dirt up into it like that but uh, 
I'd like the water to be as pure as possible. In fact, I'd like to have tests along the way, like maybe even test the soil to see what the possible contaminants are. You know, we don't want to have a situation like they had on Doctor Who. <laughs> so possibly even one of our tests could be testing it to see if there's any uh, bacteria in there that could harm the astronaut if they drink it. I don't think there will be any trouble, but uh, better safe than sorry, right? So, uh, hopefully that explains what I'm wanting to do, and uh, see you next time.